Welcome to the Third Wind channel, where today we're going to discuss Season 4 of Zoe 101 and we're going to be making an episodes tier list. This is our fourth episode because there are four seasons of Zoe 101, which means that yes, this is the final one. And after this, I'm planning to do like a season's ranked of Zoe 101. So that's going to be a fun video. But without further ado, yeah, go check out 1, 2, and 3 before this one if you haven't already. And you can go check out our iCarly one, which was, you know, this is an ongoing series, so we did one for iCarly, but enough talk. Let's get into the video. Tier list. So our tiers are favorites slash iconic, great, good, okay, and episodes that you could skip. Moving on to our very first episode, which was Trading Places. What a important moment in Zoe 101 history. Uh, Chase is so into Zoe that he decides to go to England but Zoe decides to go back to PCA because she finds out that P uh, Chase really does care about her and I mean that's the whole premise of this episode really they, they try to go on a date but it doesn't really work out because long distance especially in what was this 2008 or so wasn't working out for them so they're like okay Chase says I have to wait a whole semester here and we'll we'll meet in six months which, spoiler warning, is the end of the season. So, where does this episode go? Well, absolutely an iconic. I think the season finale for episode uh, season 3 was a little bit more amazing, but episode 1 is a really good uh, follow-up on that season finale. Moving on, we got Fake Roommates, which I absolutely love. Um, I love how they... they. I mean, they're so used to having Chaser that they just can't accept having a new roommate, so they literally make it or also they also want the extra space you know knowing logan and michael uh so they make up a fake roommate and uh, it's pretty funny what else happens in this episode coco finds out that the dean likes lions so she thinks oh yeah let me just get a tame lion in his room and of course he gets sent to the hospital uh, because the lion attacks him and coco gets fired so this episode i'd put it in great I don't think it quite goes in favorites iconic, although I do like, I really like the premise of the making of the fam fake roommate. Moving on, Alone at PCA. This is kind of a, I don't know, offbeat episode, but I absolutely love it. I want to put it, even before I talk about it, I'm going to put it straight into favorites iconic. I love how they, uh, their school trip gets canceled and they, and they have the whole campus to themselves and the dean's also there and the janitor and, uh, Basically, after a day of fun on campus, the trophy that the dean won for the school, a golf trophy, is destroyed, and he immediately suspects that it was Michael and Logan, and a lot of evidence points towards them uh, breaking it because they were playing hockey in the halls. But a long rivalry uh, between the janitor and, and the dean, which was figured out through the, kind of like a, not a murder mystery, but it was like, I love how it was a mystery uh, there's a mystery in the episode. You have to kind of figure out who it was. And uh, that was, it was really good. I was really well done. I, I liked that episode a lot. The the standoff between the Dean and the janitor and all that. But let's move on to episode four, Rumor of Love. This is where we're introduced to James, the kind of uh, second love interest of Zoe. Uh, just kind of stirred up. He's kind of charismatic, um, fairly socially smart guy. Um, but, uh, yeah, the guys, the, uh, Chase, I'm sorry, Logan and Michael don't really like him. So they kind of just shove him out of the room. And I don't, can't remember who was the one who spread the rumor, but someone spread a rumor about that. No, I think it was Logan that he was, um, that he was dating Zoe. Um, and that kind of started their whole romance kind of ironically. Uh, but this episode, like, Maybe I should put it in Iconic because it's a James's or Austin Butler's character's first appearance, but I just think it's... I could put it in good or okay. I don't think it's an amazing episode, uh, although it is interesting to meet a new character. Moving on. Anger Management. Uh, this episode goes in on the whole Logan with Dustin relationship. Dustin becomes his uh, kind of assistant, but he starts yelling and... Zoe's not having it, so, um, and also, us, I mean, James puts this on the internet, and it gets to the Dean, and Logan gets sent to anger management. Parallel to this, matching the title, we also have Lola, who gets angry at, um, 
uh, not Stacy, at uh, Quinn, because Quinn was eating, she kind of like eats part of the nut and then puts it back in the bowl. So she's like has a spit all over it and Lola's eating these uh, half eaten nuts and Quinn doesn't tell her. So she gets very angry at Quinn. Um, so we have some angry people in this episode. And I think it's all right. But the Logan Dustin thing for me was a little bit old. And I think it's just okay. I, I actually preferred the Lola Quinn um, line better. So it was okay. I don't need to see that one too many times. Uh, but next we have Quinn, Mrs. Mark, which I think is... I mean, I'll get to where I think I should go in a second, but this is where a lot of things happen. Uh, basically, Quinn starts missing Mark, so she starts dressing differently. Um, <laughs> Michael befriends a horse. And the a big moment where Qu Quinn actually kisses Logan because Logan actually pays attention to Quinn and her change. And I think it's a very important moment, and it's iconic. And it's a really good episode. The ho horse bit with Michael is very funny as well. Moving on, we have... Oi, what happened there? There we go. Okay, Walk-a-thon. Episode 7. This is where, uh, I think it's Dustin and Zoe are going in a walk-a-thon. They go out around and ask people how much they'll donate per mile they walk. And Lola accidentally puts too much, too many laps. She didn't understand the concept. And all of a sudden, she's paying $600. And she doesn't have that kind of money. So they get involved with the people who are in charge of the charity. And it's this a kind of scary looking dude called Carmine but it turns out it's it's all a little um I like the suspense but it, you know it's the kind of stereotypical like mafia guy and I think it's funny I, it's well done and uh I guess the subplot is Logan and Quinn trying to hide their relationship from everyone especially Michael but uh this episode yeah it's good it's about as good as rumor of love for me uh, I think that's about where I put it Moving on, we got Vince is back, the great Vince Blake. Um, what a legend! It's a it's a good episode. Uh, I'd say. I th I'd say definitely an iconic episode because this is when Vince comes back, and for all all those who remember the, when Vince first was introduced, it's a it's it's kind of, it was a really good episode, and uh, I I wish he was a character for longer in the series, but. He comes back and now he's this good guy and he's trying to get everyone's trust. And I, I thought they were going to go with the route that he was going to be a bad guy again after like faking being nice. But they never go with that route. And I almost feel like if the show would have continued, they definitely would. He definitely would have doubled back as a bad guy. But he ends up as he ends up ends up being with Lola all the way through the series end. And that always kind of bothered me. How can he end change so much in one season, you know? But you know what? It's a it's a bit of an entertaining episode. Vince is back. I've always thought he was an important character in the show, and uh, yeah, sure, a favorite, iconic. I think it deserves it. Next, we got dinner for too many. Are we skipping episodes here? No, episode nine. Dinner for too many, where Zoe and James want to go on a date, but they also want to get away from everyone else. So they so, and also James wants to impress Zoe by taking her out to an expensive dinner which I think he saved up for for a very long time. But what ends up happening is that Logan and Quinn also want to get away from everyone else secretly, um, which makes a lot of sense, and Logan has the money. And uh, what happens is, uh, I don't I don't remember exactly how, oh yeah, um, somehow Michael and Lola find out about Zoe's um, arrangement on the date, but they don't, I don't think they understand the date, so... Lola and Michael come along and pretty much the whole gang is there and uh, Logan and, and Quinn have to come up with a reason why they're <laughs> they're alone. So it's a lot of antics. It's kind of like the quarantine episode in season three where we get them all together kind of in one room and we get a new set, we get a new set which is this fancy restaurant which I think is always refreshing. So that it definitely gets points for that and it's it's got some very interesting dynamics. I think this episode deserves to be in the great section. Um probably closer to good than it is to iconic but it's 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 a great episode next we got coffee cart ban this one i think is interesting not only for the characters but more also for all the kind of they've dabbled in this but like in the money section and in the black market and like uh what happens when you ban something i think that they nailed it right on the head you know they the coffee cart 
get banned, but there's always a way to get these things through, even if it's banned, just like in the 1920s with alcohol in the United States. So I, th I thought it was really clever. I know I'm going, I'm deeping this a little bit too much, but basically coffee carts get banned and these underground clubs start and uh, it ends with them all getting in trouble, but then they find out that the dean has been running his own kind of thing, so they all get excused. But it's it's a good episode. It's entertaining. Uh, I'd put it in great. I enjoy this one thoroughly, and I think there's a lot to be learned here. Um, moving on, ep episode 11, we got Roller Coaster. I debated putting... I mean, I'm going to make... L let's make this quick. Michael, scared of roller coasters, gets over fear. Uh, he doesn't want to be embarrassed in front of his new girlfriend uh so yeah i think it's all right i i could have put it in could skip but I, I i am a big fan of roller coasters and there are some funny things with i just my goal being so scared is kind of funny so i have to put it in good but this is if there's any episode which could go and could skip because it's just not important or not entertaining enough it would probably be this one but uh i don't know i like roller coasters i'm putting it in good uh, and lastly we got Maybe the best episode of Zoe 101 ever. I don't, I don't know what could beat it. We have Michael learning to drive from Mr. Miyagi, pretty much. I thought that was hilarious. I, when I was rewatching it, like the first time I watched it, I hadn't realized that. But on my rewatch, I was like, this is amazing. We got Stacy getting hit by a car, losing her lisp. We got, you know, the grand finale, Chase coming back and Zoe and Chase becoming a thing. Although later, uh, 10 years later, we, we find out that Chase is proposing to a different girl. So, you know, mm, <laughs> it's, it, it is a happy ever after, though. We see Lola with, um, what's his name, Vince. We see Michael with his girlfriend. And we see Quinn and Logan coming out as a couple. And everyone is happy. Everyone is dancing. The only one not happy is James because he got dumped by Zoe because she realized that she still had feelings for someone else or something wasn't quite right. But, you know, long story short, that moment where um, Chase reveals that he's back at PCA and the, you know, the kiss, um, it's an iconic moment. And chasing Zoe, I think, is, it's for it being so short, it's such a amazing episode. I don't know. I, I think it's a really good way to close off the show. Um, I don't know if they meant it to be the closer for the show because the show did end quite abruptly, but it was it was well done. Very well done. Uh, definitely favorite iconic. And uh, this is the first time I think we don't have any episodes and could skip. Going into the season, I was thinking I'll probably have a lot of episodes where I'll put them lower on the list, but I guess it wasn't too bad of a season. I was thinking season four was maybe one of the worst ones, but it wasn't too bad. Um, but it did miss Chase. Chase was very missed. James is an alright character, but he's no Chase. But that is my list. Uh, let me know if you guys agree. And uh, yeah, you can give me your own list in the, in the comments. And uh, stay tuned for that Zoe 101 Seasons Ranked. And you know, you can check out our other content on this channel. Some of the videos are on the screen now. But otherwise, I'd like to thank everyone here for watching. Um, I appreciate all of you guys. And I'll see you guys soon.